Right, in trigonometry, you always find problems like this, where you express something in terms of something. In this case, it says if sine p, if sine 23 is equal to p, write down the following in terms of p. Do not use a calculator. Same questions again, no calculator. Right, let's, let's work it out. 90 plus, which quadrant is that? It is the second quadrant. How is cosine on the second quadrant? Cosine is negative on the second quadrant. Because we've got 90, cos will change into sine of 23. Ah, here comes this 23. Wherever I see 23, I push in P. So the answer in this case will be minus P. Uh, I've expressed this in terms of P in that particular way. Right, this is how we go about finding this, this third one. Because I need the adjacent when I talk of a cosine. Ka, ka, adjacent of hypotenuse. So, what is cosine using this one? What is cosine 23 in this particular case? Cosine, ka, 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 adjacent. What is adjacent? It is my x, which is this one, which is square root of 1 minus p squared over 1, which would be exactly that. This over 1, which is exactly that. That's one way of doing this problem. But I want us to do it the other way. I'm, I'm thinking of another way to do this problem. Now, watch here. But what is it that we're looking for? We're looking for cos 23. Let's make cos squared 23 the subject. So this then will be cos 23 is equal to, put a square root that side, r, 1 minus. But what is sine 23? Sine 23 was given as p. So it is minus p. How is this p? It is squared. It is exactly the same as that one. You can choose whatever root that will uh, satisfy you. I want us to look at the third one. Remember what is it that we are doing here? We are trying to get 23. We are trying to get sine 23 and remove it and substitute it with P. When I see 46, ah, I can see two 23s there. This then will be 2 instead of sine 23. I push in P times cos 23. I've just done cos 23. That it is that. So that's what I substitute. It will be uh, square root of 1 minus p squared. I've expressed this in terms of p. Thank you.